there folks how y'all doing out there we need to have a quick discussion here uh in my vehicle getting right around up to the store and uh pick up a couple things um have y'all been seeing what's going on in china well i don't think this is a good thing folks uh you know they're locking down the whole area the whole all these big cities and everything else a lot of people are, well, they're not too happy about it either. I mean, they're just, uh, you know, what are we going to do? They can't leave their homes, which means they're not going to work. And what is that going to mean for us? You know, this is going to cause more shortages in the midterm and long term. You know, if they're not working, that means they're not loading the ships. They're not producing the goods. They're not doing any of this kind of stuff. You also have to think about what California just did. You know, by the end of the year, they want all the trucks that are on the road upgraded to a, you know, uh, a certain year. And uh, the rest of them will not be allowed to be on the roads. Which equates basically to uh, 80,000 more trucks taken off the roads. Seems to me that a lot of these things are being orchestrated to uh, damage the supply chain in all goods that we do receive or all goods that are delivered or moved across this world. I don't know how else to uh, put this to you. You know, I mean, it's it's a bad situation. It really is, folks. Uh, there, there's a lot of stuff that's coming down the pike that isn't in our favor, if you get what I'm saying. I mean, this is just horrible. We have to pay attention to what is really taking place here. For all you people out there that keep saying, oh, fake news, you know, oh, fear mongering, you're doing all this, you're wrong. You're wrong, folks. I'm sorry. Something majorly is brewing, and we're going to take the brunt of it. The people of this world not just this country this is going to affect everybody in one way shape or form let's just face the facts folks you know we have the unrest over in europe we have china on mat you know mass lockdowns that is basically shutting down and crippling whatever products are made and moving all the products from point A to point B. Now we still can't get everything unloaded and moved in California. By the end of the year, they're taking 80,000 more trucks off the road, which is gonna put a lot of the small businesses out of business from everything that I've been reading because a lot of these places can't afford to go out and buy brand new trucks. You get it? The grocery stores, depending on where you live, you might see shortages, yeah, you might not. And if you're not, you're the ones that should be really prepping. And for the ones that do see shortages, you gotta really pay attention, try to shop on certain days, try to figure out ways that you can put up more preps and be ready for this uh, firestorm coming. You know, I mean, it's a whole new world that we live in and we have to learn how to adapt and overcome. That's the name of the game, folks. You have to learn how to adapt and overcome the amount of all these different scenarios that are being thrown at us on a daily basis, and we have to be prepared, period. Now, if you choose not to, that is fine. That is your choice. But me as a content creator, my job is to try to bring you information and to try to get you to understand the importance of being prepared and prepping. Now, I'm not telling you to go out and spend every last dime you have and buy a bunch of food and everything else. There are many ways that you can do that and start building your preps right now. The thing of it is, you, can't, you tell me you can't afford this, but you can't afford to go hungry either. You have to be able to supply something for you and your family to eat. The moral of this story is pay attention to what's going on. Make sure that you understand the importance of what is going on and how it's going to affect you 
on your daily basis on what you do, how you can buy, your buying power, and what is available in the stores now and what may not be available later. So the things that you use the most of, you should be prepping for. The things that you only use once in a while, those are your last things that you prep for. So I'm Survival Preparedness for Beginners. Thank you for joining me on this quick video today. We have to be prepared. We have to pay attention. We have to make sure that we're securing our future for you and our families. So until next time, folks, I'll catch you all on the flip side.